Hello everyone, I'm Rafael Alvarez and this is Alvarez Metalworks. So today what we got going on is we're going to do an unboxing and just an initial review, first impression review of Harbor Freight's Drillmaster. It's a 1500 watt dual temperature heat gun. This thing was dirt cheap. I got a coupon in the mail, it was like 10 bucks or something, or 9 bucks with the coupon. Um, why not try it? <laughs> Uh, I don't plan on using it that much, just for heat shrink, stuff like that. Um, I can't imagine that it would go bad where I don't get my $10 worth. But with that being said, let's open it up and, and take a look at it. So what you get in the box is you get this and this, owner's manual, manual and safety instructions. And this is about as simple as it gets. You shake it around, you can hear the heating elements moving and crap inside. That's probably not a good thing, but it's $10. Plugs, about as good as you can get. And you got a rocker switch here, you got off in the center. I'm assuming that's low up and high on the bottom. If it's not that way, then it's just the opposite. Um, let me grab myself an extension cord or have my daughter go do it. <laughs> Make sure that's plugged in. So, okay, so. According to the box, it's going to draw 6.6 .6 amps and 12.1 amps. 6.6 .6 obviously on low, 12.1 on high. You know, it's, it's designed to work out of a 120 volt outlet. And low setting temperature is 572 degrees, high temperature is 1100 degrees basically. So. Slow, let's see how fast this thing gets hot enough to burn my hand. That's pretty fast. <laughs> let's get it back to... No, it's smoking, look at it. It's on fire already. <laughs> it's cold as hell in my shop, by the way. That gets hot fast. Here, let's burn some shit. Hopefully not this. So obviously it gets clearly hot enough to do shrink wrap and stuff like that. What this is is um, some of that packing material, plastic that they use for straps when they're tying down boxes and things like that. So clearly it gets really hot. After running for a while, still smoking a little bit. Not as much as it was though. So it's probably got some residue of some crap inside of there that needs to be burned off. Just like pretty much anything else that gets hot. Oils or whatever. So, as far as the build construction, the plastic on this is really quite strange. It's got like some sort of a coating on here. Feels a little bit kind of rubbery. I don't know. Yeah, it feels a little bit rubbery. It's weird. This little red thing on the back, I don't know about that. Looks like it's supposed to be some sort of a knob or whatever, but it's not. Um, feels, feels sturdy, switch feels okay. It's not real high quality, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. Um, that's actually not hot. Oh, it is a little bit. <laughs> actually quite a bit, but you can grab it here. The tip area is pretty hot. So, I don't know. All in all, for 10 bucks, 9 bucks really, 10 bucks after tax, 
I can't complain. It's going to do the job for me. Um, you guys need a cheap, quick, you know, whatever, cheap heat gun, feel free to grab that one. Link will be down in the description. Remember, always subscribe, comment, like, and talk to you guys later.